Okay, so those cracks in the mold are actually vents for air. So to, for proper flow of the material and displacement of air, you actually need air vents, even though... It's just powder or talc right there? Yeah, talc, but um, no talc on the hopefully word. not actual talc bearing talc because of its what are you powdering carcinogenic right now? properties. Yeah, talc and powder, but I'm hoping that's that a, that's I got the release. natural stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a mold release, but it's primarily actually to vent to allow air to okay. vent through those cracks. Okay. So there, it's prepped. But again, lining up those guys. Mm -hmm. um, then, oh, you know what's gonna suck is I gotta turn the compressor on for a sec. Okay. Loud. So, sort of finger tight. Okay. Loud for a sec. It's not that loud. It's annoying if it's on the whole time. Okay. This. This is your tank full of wax. Yeah. And then. You want to hold that it just, on that for just, that just shoots wax into the mold. Yeah, but for something of this uh, kind of heaviness of how much wax is in there, it takes you know not very long, a couple maybe a second or something to fill the volume that's inside. Mm -hmm. But what you got to do is keep the pressure on so that uh, while it's cooling off, it maintains the shape. Otherwise, it'll contract mm -hmm. and get like sucked back. The other thing is it has to cool before you take it out. So you're trying to, is anybody trying to overfill it as much as you can? Well, it's just to maintain pressure yeah, more than same anything. Thing. It's just like, just like uh, chip casting. You want to put more than you need. Uh, first, time. for uh, shrinkage? Yeah. Uh, although, if you don't put enough, it'll suck away. So, and then see what's happening here, that prostate issue, the leakiness. Um, prostate issue. Yeah. It's um, okay. the spring fatigues because you got to stay warmed up the whole time. Oops. Whole time, <clears throat> so I think it just kills. Does the that mean you have to just replace the spring after all? Yeah, I mean if you can find one that's like that, I'm really bad at replacing parts. Basically, I just take it apart every once in a while and straighten it out. Mm -hmm. So when I said there were only two variables or something, it's the heat, which you can't really get too high, or the wax is too liquidy or too cool, it won't. Uh, flow and the pressure so you got to check every time it's really so using, those, so using those two pieces of plastic to hold together without burning your hand because the, the wax is hot right uh, it's just to keep it's to keep the edges of the mold together because okay, so otherwise it'll, it'll leak out. you get flashing you like you see a bunch over there in the shit pile but mm -hmm. have um called mm -hmm. flashing it's like yeah, it's flare over. of wax all the way around yeah. which if you're doing it's gold yeah. it introduces a significant volume more it's not like part of your control. And it's expensive. Yeah. For At other least. materials, it doesn't really matter, but um, it also signifies the displacement of volume. So you have, are adding like sometimes a millimeter mm -hmm. or something. So. so. How long do we wait for the wax to dry? Well, this is the annoying thing of having two molds a while. Like, so what do we do? We just kind of sit around. That's the thing. Well, I have more other molds. You can shoot other molds, or I'll show you how to detail them. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna die boredom if you keep filming. It. No, this is awesome. This is so. You still film. filming? I'm, gonna fi I'm filming this whole time. This is so. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Well, wait so a minute. Yeah. So, okay. um, and I'm not throwing these. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Lessons. <laughs>